Hi everyone, it's Trishna, and in today's video I want to talk about something that I've been feeling in the ethers, which is a sense of being very impressionable and seeing that as a detriment and wishing that they weren't and wanting to get rid of it. And what wants to come through from all of your guides and higher selves is maybe advice that seems a little bit controversial or probably advice that maybe others would not necessarily give. But this is what wants to come through, so this is what I'm going to share. Okay, so the thing about being impressionable is that yes, it can be a detriment when it's used or when you are around people who can take advantage of that or influences that would be to your detriment if you were to take it on. But all things that are weaknesses are also strengths, and all things that are strengths are also weaknesses. And that also applies to being very impressionable. So what you need to do, or what you might want to do, is take this weakness and turn it into a strength. And you can do that by being very clear and curating what kinds of influences you want to have around you. Influences can come in the form of friends, but they can also come in the form of what movies you watch, what songs you listen to, what YouTubers you watch, what social media you, uh, accounts you follow, what articles that you read, what kinds of books that you peruse, what kinds of places that you go to. And this way you can create a council around you of influences that you do want to be impressed upon by. So maybe you feel like, you know what, I feel like my life is going down a negative path, a detrimental path, because I'm around really negative people. So then you might want to start looking out for people who are more positive in nature, YouTube channels that are focused around positivity, books that are around positive thinking or self-help or just making you feel really good if maybe they're fiction. And you might want to start focusing on that so that that becomes a predominant influence that is around you. And then even if maybe you're around certain people that are more negative that are still able to influence you, they take a smaller portion of the overall pie of your attention span that you're giving because now you're filling the rest of your pie with more positive influences. If you feel like you don't have a particular skill, you can start surrounding yourself by influences or by people who have the skills that you want. Maybe you feel like you're not hardworking enough or you're not committed to things enough or you don't have enough perseverance. Well, if you start watching videos of people who are very strong in those qualities, if you start surrounding yourself by people who embody those qualities, eventually that's going to start rubbing off on you. And because you're more impressionable, it will probably rub off on you very quickly. And you'll be able to start gaining those skills through becoming a bit more like them and being surrounded by that influence. So this might not have been the answer that maybe you were looking for, maybe you're wanting to get rid of being impressionable, but that is the guidance that wanted to come through, which is to honor yourself as you are, because if you want to get rid of being impressionable, the way to do that is to honor yourself as you are. If you fight against yourself, that aspect of you is only going to hold on harder and stronger. It's kind of like when you get into an argument with somebody and they dig in their heels even more, and the harder that they dig in their heels, the harder you dig in your heels, and so that continues, and there's no leeway that happens, and no actual communication that's really occurring between the two of you. It's the same thing with the different aspects of yourself. If you are saying, no, I don't want to be impressionable, and your impressionable side is like, wait, well, I want to be then. I want to be impressionable. You're like, no, and they're like, yes. <laughs> then that part of you is only going to dig in even harder, so you want to honor that aspect of you. So this is one way to honor that is to say, hey, okay, you know what? Impressionable aspect of myself, I would really rather you're not around, but you know, I guess you could be a strength too. So I'm going to try to honor you. I'm going to work with myself as I am. I'm going to work with you as you are, and we're going to make this happen for us, and we're both going to thrive. And as you do that, you will find that that impressionable side of yourself will go away because you're not fighting against it. You're honoring it, and so you're integrating that aspect of yourself into yourself and becoming more whole. Because a lot of times when we are impressionable, it's because we're not really whole in ourselves. And that's why little parts of us can be influenced by other forces, because we're not whole and centered and grounded. So when you start embracing that part of yourself, you become whole, you become centered, you become grounded. And now the impressionability 
aspect of yourself isn't really separate from you, so it can't be picked off and influenced by others. And so you become much stronger in yourself. So I would recommend the two ways of handling being impressionable is to number one, honor that aspect of yourself and say, hey, you know what, thank you so much for being here. There was probably a point in my, in my life where this was a survival mechanism that I really needed to have, that I needed to be impressionable so that, you know, I wouldn't fight against certain things and then create even more hell in my life. And I honor that you were here to protect me and I love you and I thank you so much for having my back. But now I think that I want to have a different protection mechanism so I can handle things now and thank you for protecting me, but I got this. We're on the same page you can rest. So that's one way that you can do this. You can do this for anything that you want in life. It doesn't just have to be about being impressionable. And the second way is honoring it as a strength and utilizing who you are right now as an advantage. And the more that you honor who you are and use your weaknesses, turn them into strengths and leverage those strengths in your favor, the more you're gonna love yourself, the more whole you're gonna be, the more centered you're gonna be, the more confident you're gonna be and the more you're gonna start becoming your own person. And that's gonna feel amazing because you did that for yourself. So I hope that this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to get more personalized guidance from me, you can always do so by finding me in my Etsy shop at psychicts.etsy.com. You can also find several different courses that I have on how you can connect to your own guides or connect to your own life mission and your own purpose in life and find that for yourself and be influenced by your own guides, your own aspects of yourself in that direction. So I have my Light Codes Activation course, and I also have my Building Your Trust with Your Own Spirit Guides course, and you can find those at my website, www.spiritualactivationacademy.com. So again, thank you so much. I hope that this served you. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love a subscribe and a like, and I will catch you in the next video.